Good morning, modern steaders. I don't know if it's going to show up in here or not, but there's a light fog in here this morning. And right up there, I don't know if it's going to let you see because the sun, we have a little birdie stuck in the greenhouse. But man, look at these plants, them tomatoes, and then look at the zucchinis gonna be a beautiful day today that sun's already starting to come out we've got a milk buttercup for the first time in a few minutes it's gonna prove to be interesting and it's gonna be warm in the greenhouse early morning phone call you know what that means hello this is Perfect. We'll be down probably around 8.30 to get them. All right, th thank you. Bye. Well, that's the other batch of meat birds we have ordered. They were supposed to be here two, three weeks ago, but there was a mishap at the hatchery, so they're here today. Can't wait to go pick them up and see how they are doing. Speaking of meat birds, we need to move and feed this batch of meat birds. Keep them safe. I wonder if that bird found its way out yet or not. Oh, I'm not seeing it. It must have flew out the doorway. So the post office just called and the second batch of meat birds are in. They did? Yep. Yeah. You excited to milk buttercup this morning? <laughs> It'd be interesting to see how she yeah, does for I'm her like first yeah, time. a little bit. I'm excited, but I'm like... <sighs> Switching our routine all up this morning. Yeah. Good morning. You coming out? Libby's has got your food. Come on. Come on, Blossom. We're waiting on you. Come on. Let's go. You checking on the goats now, mister?
perfect timing. Look at her udder. It's huge. Oh my gosh, it's huge. She's got a good milking stance. Do you have enough jars? A lot of people ask us about our milking machine and where we bought it from. It's something that we've made with just parts and pieces we found here and there. So we can't share a link to it. It's going to be interesting to see how much milk we get from Buttercup this morning. This is the first time we've ever milked Buttercup. It's our first time she's had babies. How old are you now, Buttercup? Two? Two. Yeah. yeah. So big over there. Oh, yeah, I know, it's huge. I can't even squeeze it. <laughs> no, you can't get that far. It's so big. Our smallest goat, I think she's going to be our star milker. Is that tickle there, Buttercup? You gotta pick your leg up. She's like, what's going on? I thought we're gonna need four jars. I can start feeling some looseness. Do you think yep. I need a switch? You already yeah. filled up one jar. So for Willow, we only get one jar a day. So for Buttercup, I brought down two jars. I don't think that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna go run up to the house and grab another one. Good job, Buttercup. I'm really impressed with how good you did for your first time milking. We won't take all your milk this morning. We'll save some for your babies. They would appreciate that. Yeah, we got one jar and almost three quarters. I mean, we could have filled this easy if we wanted to. So she's never been milked before by anybody. She did a really good job. And the more we milk her, the more of her milk supply should start coming up. So I'm excited. Our smallest goat and our best milker so far. Oh, you did so good. You did so good. Oh, yes. Better comes like going up with it. All right. Get in there. You want to go see your babies? You have to come this way to come see your babies. Come on. Here's your babies. Oh, what the heck is in there? Okay. Look at the two boys. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> Good thing we didn't take all the milk. We put the kennel in here last night because all the baby goats, including Nora, slept in here. And we thought she'd like sleeping in the kennel, but when I looked at the camera first thing in the morning, she was down there sleeping in Gosh, that corner. I looked at 11 o'clock last night. She was sleeping there. Now look at your udder. What I would do with butter cups. It's so small now, girl. Huh? Yep. You were holding back quite a bit for your babies, weren't you? you gonna go get some fresh pasture while we finish doing the chores? Eggs did 
good, good waiting for us. Got feed you in your dish. There you go. Your chickens ready to get out? Sounds that way. Watch out. back in. Now I need to clean it out and put fresh bedding in. I think I remember to turn the heat lights back on. Even though it's warm this morning, I'm still going to put our heat lights in our chick brooder. We'll get our feed tray ready. This is a turbo feeder from Coops and More. We have really good luck with this feeder. And we'll get their water ready, then we'll get the heat lights turned on. Let's get this plugged in and we'll be ready. Oh yeah, that'll get the brooder warming up nicely. That sun is nice and strong this morning. I better get the greenhouse sides opened up before it gets too hot in there. I have one good hack I'm gonna do to these roll up sides. I was waiting for a part to come in and it just showed up yesterday. So either today or tomorrow we'll do that. I got you some chicks. They sound spicy. They are, they sound good. Our future winter stews and dinners. We got some seeds too from Johnny's. Okay. So I believe that's your sage and your cantaloupe. Oh, cantaloupe. So I'm pretty sure we ordered 40, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then I think they give you one free chick. I don't know if that's gonna be a Cornish or just a random breed. Oh, it's probably this little guy right there. The Girl. Gray, the gray fuzzball. Uh-huh. It's a bantam of some sort. It's got feathers on its feet. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I wanna dip your beak. There you go. Looks like they're all in there, standing. They all look good. It's a little. They're tiny. They don't stay that small though, no. too long. I put apple cider vinegar in their water this morning. That amazes me. Oh yeah, they pick up so fast. Where their feed and water is, takes them no time. So the chicks are hatched and they're shipped out the same day. And the yolk sac makes it so that they don't need to eat or drink for, I believe it's 72 hours. You don't have to dip their beaks into water, we just like to do this. We make sure they get a drink and then they know where their water is. You can get to see each one though, too. Rusty's enjoying his dust bath this morning. 41 corn cross and one surprise cutie. Look at his feet. 
Yep. I'm curious to see what kind of, give me some kind of fancy breed. They're nice and cute at this stage, but when they get bigger, they're not so cute, are they? No. <laughs> now we get to work on the other project for the goats. We need to let you and your babies out on pasture, Buttercup, so we can work back here for a little bit. That way we don't gotta worry about all the other goats. Trying to get in? Trying to get in here, because we don't want goats back here while we're trying to do our, ooh, ooh. our project ain't gonna help. Ready? Whoop. You can't kick. There you go. All right, you guys stay in the pen. I say you and Nora are friends now. Look at him. Aww. Aww. Right now, out back here, we can't divide it up either. Buttercup can have this run with her babies, and then the other goats can't get in their stall, or they can get into their stall, and the babies can't get out. So we need to make a divider right here, I believe. So I want to screw into the four x four post for the barn. So that's the other. right there. So if we put our, if we work right here, the goats can come out and have a run, and then these goats can come and still get to their stall. So we ended up picking up a gate the other day so we can divide it up back there and if it's draining out all the goats can have access to their pen and they can go in and out and they don't get to worry about getting wet. We're thinking about doing another piece of goat panel right here, but if we do that, we can't open it up, so we can't get the goats from over here to that pasture. Not easily. No. We have to take them all out. So we're like, oh, we better do a gate. There we go. That ain't going nowhere. A little bit, hold that back down a little bit. Right there. If we just came out a little bit. And then this. That's a bummer. We're gonna make it so there's a roof back here later on. So that way, especially in the winter time, they, they'll have a run to get into that has no snow. And when we do that, we'll switch the gate from being on this wall to this wall so we can open it and it'll just fold flat up against here where right now we can't do that but until we get our overhang built this will work perfectly this side opens up better we could do this maybe bam oh that works perfect that just make your day yes it really did now it looks a lot nicer too yeah so oh this door will hold it that door's shut. If not, we'll just put a hook there and a chain. But if we have this door open and we want all the goats out. Bang. Over here. Baby follow. Come on. <laughs> you go this way. There you go. Oh yeah, do your yoga again. Do it again. Oh yes. Stretch. Now you girls can have access to the barn. To the barn. How's that? Look at Nora, she's drinking. Oh, most of the chickens, except for one, stayed in New York City. Oh. How many eggs do you think? Oh. 12, 13, I'm gonna say 15. How many eggs are you guessing? Leave it in the comments down below. Oh, we got a mask. Somebody broke one, it looks like. One. Two, three, four, five. I wonder if it was the broody hen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My guess is she stepped on one when she was being broody. Oh, look at that. I'll call that a quarter of an egg. Ten and a quarter. Nope. Eleven and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. 
We got 12 and a quarter eggs. Uh, 12 and a quarter? Yeah, 12 and a quarter. How do you get 12 and a quarter? <laughs> That's how you get 12 and a quarter. Is that a hole in it? No. How many? Uh, 12 and a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> How's that gate working, huh? I put a rubber mat down low so the baby goats can't get out underneath it. Seems to be working well, ladies and gentlemen. Not quite sure where the pigs are napping, but they gotta be somewhere. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but they popped up underneath the pasture pig mobile as soon as I said that. Don't touch that fence with a wet nose, it's gonna hurt. Do you like sleeping under the pasture pig mobile? You girls ready? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Yeesh. You enjoying the feed in the feeder? <laughs> Rusty. Been quite a few hours since we got the meat birds home, so we should check on them and give them more food. They're all looking good. They're drinking quite a bit of water. They haven't touched their food really, but you know what? I'm gonna fill up the feeder anyways, because I got a scoop full. They're looking really healthy. I like it. We got two eggs in here today. What do you think, Rusty? How many eggs? I see a hen, so that usually means none. Oh, I see one. One. It's pretty warm, so it's freshly laid. What do you think, Figaro? Is that shade under there nice? I just got back from the hardware store. We got a bunch of two by fours, some tin and a pole, and some hardware inside the truck. Any ideas what our next project's gonna be? Leave it in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't cut any two by fours in quite a while. I'm Jones and making man glitter. We're gonna do a stir fry, just some chicken, some broccoli, and some carrots. a fourth cup of water in a third cup of honey, it's a little bit less, and a couple glugs of the apple cider vinegar. I know.
could use chicken broth. But I did not make chicken broth this time when I had my chicken. I just added a little bit of white vinegar, white wine vinegar in there. It's still a little sweet. I am gonna just add it in. I added a little bit more water too. It's not super sweet. Um, if you have any good sauces that for like a stir fry that does not contain coconut aminos or soy sauce, we would love to hear them. Cheers are no. Ready? Cheers. Me too. <laughs> no. Tastes good. Buttercup makes some good milk. I can't. You can't. <laughs> no, because I laughed once. I can't drink because my tastes like milk. We were all really surprised with how good of a milk or buttercup was for the first time. It wasn't her first time in the milk and stand, but it was the first time we've ever milked her or she's ever been milked. She was a little I don't want to say antsy, but she moved around a little bit, but not bad. Just more of like, what are you guys doing back there? I didn't know how she would do with her feed, if she'd eat it really fast and then get impatient, but she ate her feed normally and she just stood there. So i would be curious to see how good of a milker she makes over time. I think we'll be getting a little bit more milk out of her over the next couple of days, which... I, even if we don't, we can't complain. We got just shy of a quart. So that is our best supply so far. Man, it's been such a long time growing the herd. It's a slow process, but it feels good to be milking our second doe. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. You know, if you've been following us for a while, that it's been quite a while, this whole process of getting our goats ready for milk. So thanks for coming along if you've been following for that long. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.